Hi, I'm Kate Weirs and mum to Josh, uh, who is three and a half um, and was diagnosed with Myrie syndrome in May 2020. I guess our path um, to the diagnosis um, was, I kind of started noticing that before he was a year old, that he wasn't really growing out of his clothes anymore and he seemed quite small. Um, and so I thought I'm gonna monitor this with um, the health visitors. And it got to a point where he was coming off the bottom of the chart on, on the growth side. So I went to the doctor and, and they initially kind of said, oh, he'll catch up. But um, we actually paid for a, a pediatric appointment. And the first thing they said when we went in um, was, I think he's got a genetic condition, which was completely, you know, um, bowled us over because we were like what we hadn't even considered that but they see things that we hadn't necessarily um, like his curved pinky finger um, we'd noticed his sacral dimple but they'd said oh you know that can that can just you know he can just have a deep one and that's you know fine won't affect him um, but obviously doctors can see other things like slightly I think um, lower ears or slightly wider eye set uh, so then we were like okay off down a path um, and in the UK they initially thought he had Russell Silver syndrome but that actually came back negative. Um, and in the meantime, we then moved to the States and, and luckily here they did a whole exome sequencing, which obviously showed up Myri. Um, it was during the pandemic. So we had a Zoom call with the doctors um, and I will always remember them pulling up a chart of the areas it can affect. And um, there wasn't many that it doesn't. Um, so like you all know. Uh, so that was um, pretty shocking to know how serious it could be. And obviously jumping off after on the Zoom call, we did the Google thing. Well, I did. My husband um, doesn't really go there unless he needs to. He says, if it's not happening right now to Josh, I'm, I don't want to know. And that's fair enough. That's his way of coping. But I'm like, I'm in it and I want to know everything. And, and so I did. And that was, you know, very upsetting. Um, it's a shock. You know, when you first diagnosed with something like this, um, you know, those first questions are, you know, is, is he going, how long is he going to live? Um, what is his life going to look like? And, and <sighs> we don't necessarily know the answers to those which has been very very hard to accept and it's been just over a year now and, and in those early days you know it was incredibly difficult we were in the middle of a pandemic but in a way that made us face it front and center there was no escaping what had just happened we didn't have any family or friends to see it was just us as a little family unit um with um, josh's older brother as well um so we had to face it we had to get on with it and i think over time you know it is it is sinking in um and we just, I think it's been one of those situations where it's, I guess, been a bit of a life lesson where we have to um, try and live for today, which I know can sound a cliche. And it's actually really hard to do, especially when, you know, you've got a five and a three year old and there's tantrums and things uh, happening and, and, you know, you can be at the end of your tether. But actually, it's just really reminded us that nobody knows what the future holds, Myri syndrome or not. So, you know, enjoy it, enjoy it now. Um, I mean, to my detriment, that's probably actually at the moment, Josh isn't sleeping that well. And I actually end up sleeping with him. And uh, so there can be some things where I'm like, oh, I just want to enjoy because, you know, let's be honest, sleeping with him is uh, with a toddler is really super cute. He comes over for cuddles. And yeah, so I'm enjoying that. Um, so I mean, would he get away with that ordinarily? Um, probably not. Uh, but am I letting him get away with it? Yes. <laughs> so we'll have to try and get some sleep training at some point. But you know, in the meantime, I'm enjoying it because you know, it's a special time. Um, and they are, he is super cute. He is such a joy. He is so happy. Um, he loves dancing. He loves music. He loves being naughty with his brother. He loves winding his brother up. Um, so he's just lovely. And, and he, um, He's obviously going to face some challenges as life um, goes on, and, and we don't know what those will be. But everything I've seen in the community um, with some of the Myri um, children, um, young adults and adults, is they face these challenges with such resilience and, and such determination um, that I think as a parent, I just need to walk that path and have the same determination as him. Like he's not letting anything stop him playing with his friends now or doing exactly what, you know, he wants to do. And I know things could become more tough in the future for that, but, you know, he has got this zest for life that I just, yeah, want a bottle and, and we're just enjoying him and, and trying not to think too far um, 
what could happen because the trouble is with thinking about what could happen is it can dull the moment that you're in um, if you're always worrying because you know anxiety um, is is something that's very real and can affect your day-to-day -day life and you know it's something I personally have to manage you know I have to try and keep in check because it you know I want to enjoy him I want to enjoy these moments and as everybody says um, having children it goes so fast which is so true um, and I think what has happened with this Myra diagnosis and being as part of such a small community is it's really given me um, this huge ambition to try and do everything we can as a family, as an extended family, all our friends, to try and raise as much money as possible to fund research because being part of a small rare community we don't necessarily have the profile or the awareness out there um, for some of the grants and research funding so you know we have to create it ourselves we have to raise the funds so that we can award our own grants to professional um, researchers so because the answer might be out there already we just need to find it and, and obviously that's or what we all want to happen is we want to stop Myrie in its tracks. So yeah, that has really motivated me. It's, it's given me in a situation where you can feel so powerless and that this is happening to someone else and you just wish it wasn't, what can I do? And, and I've taken that on as, as dry, doing as much as I can to try and um, help Myrie Syndrome Foundation as well, to just try and do as much as we can to find a cure. You know, that's, we want to, we want to strive to find a cure and, and, we, I will spend the rest of my life doing all I can to to make that happen and, and help make that happen. Um, well, I think one of the questions was, you know, what would you say to a new family who's diagnosed? And I guess that's a tough one. As I've said, you know, Google can be there and it, it can be really scary. And I think there will be that time where you're feeling completely overwhelmed. And some of those first initial questions are um, how long, you know, might my child live and, and will they have a shortened life? And we don't know, I guess, is the answer to that. But what we do know is that um, we need to, I guess, live for the now, um, help our children fulfill their ambitions, um, enjoy it as much as we can. I always laugh when uh, like enjoying the moment, enjoying the now. And it's when, you know, toys are being thrown and all that kind of thing. And and dinner's not being eaten but you know um what a life lesson it has been and and i guess yeah lean on each other lean on the myri um syndrome community because everyone is going through the same thing and they have been such a support to us um to know that other parents are out there um so yeah just just sometimes in the early days take it a day at a time um but there is hope um there's always hope um and and our children are just inherently joyful I've seen so many videos of all the kids laughing enjoying craft enjoying art enjoying music enjoying swimming like I hear all the time all these children have so many passion points so I guess yeah let's just um, enjoy every moment we can with them thank you for having me